I want you to create a safe and peaceful place game with your kids. I want them to have a safe and peaceful place that they can go to when they start to feel, feel really stressed out. Because when you go to your safe and peaceful place, what happens is you start producing serotonin and other more positive brain chemistry, which will offset some of the fearful kinds of experiences. Einstein said imagination was more important than intellect, and he was right. I want you to be able to imagine a safe and peaceful place. And when you go there, I want you to touch your index finger and just squeeze it with your thumb and your other index finger. I want you to lock that safe and peaceful place feeling into your body. So you, anytime you need it, you could just touch that. You just touch that and it starts creating a, a better response than a fearful response in your body. A response that will, which will offset that. The next thing uh, that I teach kids and that I do myself is I stretch. I personally do yin yoga and absolutely love it. Um, I want you to teach your kids to stretch. Stretching, as you open that, opens the energy meridians in your body, and that'll help to release some of the fear that's stored in there, too. Actually, fear uh, is stored in your kidneys, in your kidneys. Uh, and so uh, I want you to be able to stretch, to be able to open your energy meridians, and to be able to release that fearful energy inside you. Okay, step four is called classic desensitization. The only way to manage your fear is to stand in it. Anytime you repress it, you stuff it, you deny it, uh, you discount it, anytime you do any of those kinds of things, it actually empowers fear. So if you're going to be able to manage and cope and heal and deal with your fears, you have to be able to stand in them, to feel them, to allow yourself to feel them before you can release them. So anytime a person is fearful, what I do is I call classic desensitization. These are where you take little tiny baby steps into that fear. Little baby steps into that fear. So let's, let, let, me, let me give you a couple of practical experiences with kids. I used to teach swim lessons to kids. And so a lot of kids are very, very fearful about water. You can't just get them to go in. So the first thing I did was just have them watch. Then I had them come sit. Then I had them put their feet in the water. Then I had them take water in their hands. Pretty soon they were blowing bubbles. And before you knew it, the kid was jumping off the high dive. Okay, uh, it doesn't take long, but it is a process. Uh, kids afraid of the dark. A lot of kids are afraid of the dark. So I had a rheostat and a little uh, night light. So we, we played with the rheostat and we brought it down, brought it down, brought it down. Then it was just the night light. Pretty soon they didn't even need the night light. So again, these are where you take little tiny baby steps. And every time you or your child stands in that fear, what I want you to do is I want you to, number five, reinforce that. So how do you reinforce it? By noticing it. You say, hey, look before, you were scared to put your feet in, but now you can put your feet in. Hey, look before, you were scared and you had to have all the lights on. Now look at, you can have less light on. Oh, look, you know, you could do this with flying on airplanes. You could do this with any fear that you have. So, in order to help your children with their fears, you have to be aware of and be managing and healing your own fears. That means that you have to stand in it and go through my five-step process talking about it. Nothing so scary we can't talk about it. Finding out where you feel it somatically in your body. Number three, the relaxation techniques, the safe and peaceful place, stretching, breathing. Number four, classic desensitization, taking little baby steps into what you're fearful, for, fearful of. And number five, reinforcing that by noticing it. So my heart to your hearts, I wish you well. If you need any help with your fears, give me a call. Barb says, put your hand on your heart and say with me, my heart to your hearts, I wish you well. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you need more help or you'd like to schedule an appointment with me, go to my website at parenting-plus.com. You'll find my contact information and give me a call. Barb says, 